Hey, welcome to my first ever story time animation. I said that I was going to do this a long time ago, but now I finally got around to doing it. Anyways, I hope you enjoy content like this because I plan to make more story times in the future. So, when I was in ninth grade, my class was tasked with a pretty big science project early in the year in our biology class. We were to look on the website Science Buddies and choose a science project that had to do with either life or human behavior and follow the steps to replicate the experiment. I was really into psychology at the time, so I knew from the start that I was going to perform a human behavior experiment. At the end of the semester, we were going to present these experiments to judges at a school science fair. One thing you should know about me is that I am extremely stubborn and like to do everything myself. I hate anything that has to do with templates, pre-made items, or anything that isn't made by me when it comes to showing off something that I made. So, of course, I wanted to make my own science experiment. I went into the project thinking, what's the point of doing a science experiment if it's already been done before? So, I began my quest to make my own science experiment to showcase at the fair. Before even reviewing with the teacher that this would even be a possibility, I looked at every single human behavior experiment that Science Buddies had to offer for inspiration and realized quickly that these experiments were not extremely complex, even though they were labeled for high schoolers. So, after a lot of thinking, I came up with an experiment to test whether different types of auditory stimulation affected focus levels more or less than others, even at the same volume. Of course, this experiment had probably been done before in a more professional setting, and of course the answer was partially obvious, but this was something that sounded like a science buddies experiment. I presented the idea to the teacher, and she said, Why don't we stick to something on science buddies? Oh, I understand. I'll stick to something on science buddies, all right. Instead of being a normal person and taking the easy route by just choosing an experiment on the website to perform, I decided I was going to take it a step further and publish my experiment onto the website, then choose that experiment for my project, acting like I wasn't the one who published it. So I did just that. Once I got home from school, I immediately looked up how to publish a science project to science buddies. Lucky for me, the first thing that popped up was an article on how to publish one written by science buddies. I intently read the whole article and noticed that there was a 30 page manual attached on how to set it up. So I read all 30 pages and set the entire thing up on Google Docs, just like a real project on the website. I was so proud of myself. The article did mention to email them your idea before setting up the project, just in case your idea is rejected, but of course, I was too ambitious and too impatient to wait for a response, so I set up the whole thing before they can email back. I went to my classmates the next day and told them about my sneaky plan. I thought it was so smart. I anxiously awaited an email back and checked my phone constantly. A couple of days later, I got the email back. It was from Science Buddies. I excitedly opened it and it read, Dear Present Bomb, thank you for your interest in science. We're sorry to inform you, but only our authorial team is allowed to submit science projects. We're sorry for the trouble we caused you regarding the article and document you found. Keep up your interest in science. All my efforts ended up going to nothing. I was devastated. Of course, the next day I was talking to my friends about it. I tried to pull up the detailed article and manual showing that there was previously a way to publish projects, but when I pulled up the article, it had been taken down. A professional website took down their detailed article because of a kid's science project. I was still upset, so I recounted the entire story to my teacher in detail. She looked at my setup and saw that there was definitely the information needed to complete all parts of the project for the grade, so she let me do my own experiment. So I kind of did win in the end. I got to set up and perform the experiment and had fun doing so. Did I end up winning the science fair? No, but I accomplished the goal I set out to accomplish. Anyways, that's my silly story for today. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you're new to the channel, I'd really appreciate a sub. See you in the next one.